Hello everybody, welcome back to Workshop Taz, happy Saturday. Hey, i uh, got a question for you guys on a product that I've had uh, fail on me here. Uh, to give you a, a little bit of an example, I've had a few engines in my life uh, that I've worked on, both V8s, four cylinders, blah blah blah. I've had some gas engines, RC engines, nitro, gas, blah, you know, a few manufacturers, Sato, OS. Thunder Tiger, Super Tiger, things like that. I've never in my life ever locked up an engine. Not saying I'm above that, just saying it hasn't happened knock on something yet <clears throat> until here recently. Um, so I got a question about this. Uh, I know what it takes to get an engine hot and lock it up. Uh, you kind of get an idea when they do that. They get hot. They, you smell it. You can definitely tell. This, not so much the case. Um, and this is where my question is. So what I will get done this babbling here and show you guys what I got this used to be yes used to be an OS gasoline engine well I mean it still is sort of um, what this is and or was was a OS 15 GT get that in there OS GS 15 GT and might be saying yeah okay so, brand new engine sat in a box for a year. Not that it has anything to do with anything. Fired it up, ran great. And uh, after about, no, I don't know, three, four, five, six, seven minutes of running, it started to tick. I thought maybe I had something on my run table loose, so I shut the engine off, checked everything. Everything seemed to be nice and tight, so I fired it back up. And it ran for approximately another 30 seconds, started ticking again, and then just stopped. I'm like, okay weird engine's not hot uh, i'm using a 51 50 to 1 uh oil ratio same ratio i use in all my gasoline engines for my airplanes uh, i've run it in motorcycles i run it in outboards i run it in you know the same same ratio mixture i've never had an issue with it uh, also the instructions per os state they recommend 50 to 1 uh, oil to gas ratio great so what i found is when it locked up it wasn't what I expected. What I expected was the piston to be welded to the the liner, and it wasn't. Um, hopefully, I will uh, be able to get some good shots. If not, I'll take it outside and show you guys what I found. This is the piston, and it looks pretty good. Uh, there's a little indentation right here, and that's what was raising a question for me is right there. Okay. And if you take a look, uh, the cylinder, when they get hot like that, you can definitely see they score. This one's not scored except for in one spot. And it, it wasn't stuck to the liner. Uh, there was a piece of aluminum wedged between the cylinder and the piston here. And which also had stuck the ring to the piston somehow it wedged a piece of aluminum in between the, I don't know if you can see right there, but it was wedged in there. I actually had to like kind of dig it out, which naturally deformed the ring, so that has to be replaced. This has got a scar right where the piece of aluminum, and it actually looks like the piece of aluminum came in this port right here. So it came in that port, and oh, where'd it go? And it looks like it scraped up and down there for a little bit. Now that's that's just that part. Here's where the Here's where the issue was. The bottom of this crankshaft right here, or the connecting rod, I'm sorry. I don't know if you can see how galled up that is. That's all galled up. And what that was, was the aluminum chunks wedged between the connecting rod and the machine part in the block here, or the crankcase, or yeah, the crankcase. It had somehow wedged itself between the crankcase and the connecting rod. And I don't know if it had shaved it off the inside of the block or if the shavings were already in there. I'll give you an, exi an example. I had aluminum shavings in the bottom of the piston. I had aluminum shavings on top of the piston. Not very much, but there was a couple in here. Um, there was a whole slew of aluminum shavings wedged down in the bottom of this Hope I'm getting a good shot of it in there. If not, I'll have to take it outside. But I think I'm getting a, I think I'm getting a good enough. Um, matter of fact, I get it right up in there. See how it just 
you know. Now, if you've ever gotten one of these puppies hot, you'll notice a couple of things. One, you'll basically weld the piston or the piston ring to the liner. If that happens, you, a lot of times if you shut them down, they cool down. If you don't get them too hot, they'll they'll free up. Also, you lock your bearings. Well, the bearings aren't locked up. The bearing is fine. The piston wasn't, you know, the, the ring was not welded to the liner. And actually, the piston's in good shape, except for the fact that a piece of aluminum came in and looks like it slammed between that port and in there. So, back bearing is good. Front bearing, where the heck is it? It's in there. It's good, too. Oh, is it still in the block? No, it's not. Where's the front bearing? Front row. Anyway, wherever the front bearing is, I have it, and it's good. It's not it's not locked up. Anyway, um, also you can take a look here. If you run these bearings dry, you know, run it too lean, they'll also, you know, start to gall the inside of the race. But like I said, this is in awesome shape. Yes, there was aluminum chunks in this, too. I had to wash that out. And I don't know what the heck I did with the front bearing. It's in here somewhere. But anyway. Oh, there it is. So same thing. Front bearing. You know, and I can't hardly spin it here, but front bearing is not locked up. It's not didn't it's not discolored. It didn't get hot. It wasn't starving for uh lubrication. So my question is to you guys out there in uh, YouTube land, and uh I'll plaster this on Facebook to some RC uh uh, sites you guys ever had any problems with the uh, the new Chinese made OS's I've never had an issue with OS engines I've never had an issue with Sato engines uh, I've had Thunder Tiger Super Tiger two strokes four strokes I don't get it I, I don't matter of fact here's a good picture of it right in there you can kind of see how I mean so what I'm trying to figure out was it something I did or were there aluminum chunks in this from machining that got left over and um, got sucked into the engine. I, I don't know. I, I'm having a hard time trying to find out, you know, figure out if that took it off the inside of the crankcase or if the aluminum chunks were already in there and got sucked in through the, you know, the piston and the ring and then came back down in and wedged itself, you know, down in the bottom. I don't know. So if you guys got any... Um, any answers to this, I'd appreciate it. Uh, yes, I could send it back for warranty. Unfortunately, the place that I bought it from got bought out by another company. So I suppose I could send this to OS, but uh, that would require me sending it, sending it out. And they'd probably say, well, if it was my fault, then i got to pay for it or whatever. And I can just order the parts by the time I send it out, have them mess with it and put it back together and bring it back. I can already have the parts ordered and assemble it and we'll start all over again. But... My question to you guys is, is this something I did wrong or is this something that was a manufacturing issue? Um, I've never had an issue with OS. I don't know if them being made in China has hampered that any. I mean, the machining seems to be about the same, but that doesn't mean something can't happen. I've uh, had some products by name brand manufacturers have had some issues due to uh, issues, we'll say. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, poor manufacturing, we'll say. So I don't know if this is the case or not. If you guys have any answers for me, please let me know. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and help me figure this out. Um, not, I, I was going to say it's not a big deal, but it is because I have to spend a pretty penny to get this thing going again, which makes me mad. But um, I, I've i never seen anything like that. Um, so I don't know. And if you guys got any, I already said that. You know what I mean. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Anyway, thanks a lot for stopping by and wasting some time with me and taking a look at this. Hopefully I'll get an idea because what I'm scared about is putting it back together and having the same thing happen again. Um, I don't understand. Like I said, it ran fine. Ran fine. Uh, the engine turned free. Ran fine. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, thanks a lot. Uh, that's all I got. Thanks. Bye.